Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it communication skill station, kindly please begin. Begin, please. Hello, I'm Dr. Kamal Jini Brahim, one of the candidates for the exam. Um, may I confirm I'm Hon with the uh, consultants, surgeon on call? Yes, you're calling the consultants. Yeah, thank you. Uh, with me, I have um, uh, an elderly woman who had surgery two days ago. And today we noticed um, he has um, suspect he has axillary swelling and um, uh, sudden onset of bread, uh, sudden onset, uh, short, shortness of, of bread. Okay, okay. continue. What, what, what do you think have happened to this patient? Yeah, I think uh, it's an um, elderly woman who uh, is a known um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease with a uh, mild left ventricular failure. Um, I had um, mastectomy and axillary clearance two days ago. Just a few minutes ago, the nurses noticed that she has swelling in the axilla and um, breathlessness. I've tried to um, start with um, the a daughter also came around from so about uh, trying to uh, discuss her to have the mother on admission. However, she would like to take the mother home. Spent, okay, what's um, mm. over 20 minutes of my time to convince her for all to uh, view. Okay. Has the patient made, made her own decision or someone making her making this decision? The, the mother has made a decision. She would have loved to actually um, go to her home. However, the daughter has come around to uh, change her thoughts and would like her to go home with her. Is the patient alert and capable of making her own decision? Yes, the mother is capable of making a decision. Okay, what will be your plan of action in this event of these complications? Yes, um, with the um, auxiliary swelling he has, um, I'm suspecting a possibility of um, reactive hemorrhage and a possible um, auxiliary vein thrombosis with um, pulmonary embolism. I would have wanted to uh, do uh, investigations in her, like um, disciplinary and geography, to also to do um, uh, blood grouping, uh, 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 hemoglobin count, that's for blood count, and probably to group and cross match in case we need to transfuse her. However, the uh, daughter wants to take her home now, and then um, we are ready to sign against uh, medical advice. Okay, you mentioned a reactionary hemorrhage, right? Yes. What could be the cause? Um, because she had um, a surgery two days ago, uh, mm. it could be a slippage of the uh, slippage of the um, of the vessel, and this could be the cause of the uh, the hemorrhage, reactive hemorrhage. And what's your plan in the, for treating this? Um, is to uh, give IV fluid and um, to get to know what the hemoglobin is at the moment and um, to plan now for uh, blood transfusion if possible. And we what also about... want to um, monitor our vital signs, the pulse rates, the blood pressure, the oxygen saturation level. Okay. Uh, what about her shortness of breath? What's your plan in managing it? About what, please? Shortness of breath. Yes, I want to also um, know what our respiratory rate is and to know the, what oxygen saturation is. We may need to put on oxygen um, via a venturi mask because she has um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, so we want to give her um, excess oxygen. However, our oxygen saturation will determine how much oxygen she will need to get. Also, need okay. to monitor her vitals. Yeah. Do you know how much blood in the drain? 
Um, I don't have that information at the moment. I will check back. I will check once we I'm off the phone and get back to you. So, uh, once you know it, will you remove it before discharging her, or when you can remove it? I will, I will need to remove it before we discharge. Uh, anyway, or in some, uh, I mean, when when you can remove it and when you can't remove it. Um, since the patient wants to go home, won't, won't, uh, I would like to discharge her on the drain. Is it safe to send her home? Yeah, I think it should be safer to, to take it out. So what will you do if she's insisting to go home? Yes, I will I'll speak with both the, uh, the patient and the daughter. Now let them know that they will need to sign the document that would uh, state what exactly uh, is wrong with the woman, and um, and that the we have advised that the patient should stay on admission. However, they would like to go home against uh, the medical advice, and I've also I would have let them know the risk, the complication that will arise on account of this, and um, uh, if anything happens, they will take responsibility of that. I also tell them what the, um, the the red flag signs they should look out for. In case of any of these, they should uh, seek medical advice in any close by hospital or call an ambulance. Okay, you can tell this to about involving GPM social services, Mom. Yes. Yeah, please tell more uh, about involving uh, local GP and social services because daughter lives far away. So you have to tell that part as well. Yes, if um, there's any, um, if patient is having uh, maybe a uh, feeling of uh, feverish or the um, breathlessness is getting worse or she's feeling unwell, she should um, go to a nearby medical uh, center to complain and, um, she can also call the uh, we we'll also give a letter to our gp to state what we have done for the patient and then um, give the details of everything that's uh, transpired between us and them then we also involve the social uh, workers about the condition if possible we can have somebody close to them to monitor the the, uh, the woman progress Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right, bell went. And you had any anything more to add? Or how do you think this station should be ended? Or was supposed to be ended? Okay, so, so, so sir, um, this uh, station? We... Because it's ISBAR. So, have you completed all the components of this station? Yeah, the assessment, you're giving the assessment, you're giving the recommendation. Yes. Yeah, I think, I think, I think we completed it. Okay. As we have, yes, ma'am. Is there any feedback you want to give? I'm not, no, not sure of any number. Okay, uh, I just want to tell you 